from your comfortable seated pose, start rolling your spine down to the floor, one vertebra at a time, four shoulders down. Bring your legs overhead and bring your hands on your back. You can go for any variation, but traditionally you want the hands on the upper back, legs squeezing together and elbows close together. Keep the legs squeezing together, keep pushing out through the balls of the feet and keep pressing the shoulder blades on the ground. Four or five deep breaths. If it's comfortable, close your eyes and focus on the center of your eyebrows for four. Keep the navel in and towards the heart. Lift the ribs towards the heart. Four, three. Keep squeezing knees together, keep squeezing feet together, keep pushing up through the balls of the feet. Four, two. Focus on that. Focus on the center of your eyebrows. And breathe. Four, one. Either stay here or bring the legs to the ground behind your head. Four plow pose. Keep the legs straight. Keep the navel in and uncurl the tailbone up. Four, three. You can keep the hands on your back or if it's comfortable to release them on the ground. Four, two. Keep pressing shoulder blades on the ground. Keep pressing both of the feet away from you. Four, one. From here, you can bring the knees to the ears for ear pressure in pose. Four, three. If your knees are on the ground, you can bring the arms over the shins and grab opposite elbows. Four, two. Keep sending your navel in and then curling the table up. Four, one. Bring the hands back to your lower back. Bring the legs back up. For lotus shoulder stand. If you can find lotus legs from your shoulder stand, then go for it. Otherwise, go for half lotus or for just cross-legged. And then embryo pose. Bring the knees towards the head. Keep on curling the elbow now. And then maybe grab the knees. Four, three. Keep pressing the shoulder blades down. Four, two. And go with your variation. Four. If you have the lotus legs, keep them. We'll go for fish. Bring your spine down one bird per the time. Legs will press on the ground and then use the elbows to come up. Elbows in, navel in and up. And then place the crown of the head on the ground for fish pose. Your legs can be straight. Four, three. Four, two. Navel in and up. Shoulder blades down the back. Four, one. Last part, we raise the legs. So straighten the legs if they're not straight. Press away through the balls of the feet and raise the arms parallel to the legs. Four, three. Keep bringing navel in and up. Keep the ribs closed while breathing. Four, two. Take deep breaths here. Your lungs are wide open. Four, one. Carefully place the hands down, the legs down. And release the head. Bring the knees in, roll up and go for a vinyasa.
and then come to all fours for your headstand. Place elbows under the shoulders, clasp the fingers, form a cup with the fingers, go for the non-dominant clasp and then place the head in the cup. Inhale, navel in and up and exhale, press feet down, raise the hips. You can stay here or you can walk the feet in and you can stay here or you can go for your headstand for 10, 9, 8, 7, if you need more information on headstand, go to my workshop. Four, four, three, keep pressing legs together, press up through the ball of the feet. Four, two, keep pressing the crown of the head down, elbows down, wrists down. Four, one, come to an L shape. Four, three. Four, two, four, one. Carefully come down. Go for another vinyasa. And then hop through the hands, come to the top of the mat. Find lotus legs or half lotus if that's where you are. And then maybe go for the clasp with the hands. Four, three. Two. And one. Release the hands, come to a kneeling position. Let's finish off with lion's breath. Keep the heels together, place the hands on the knees. Let's take three lion's breaths. Inhale and arch the back and exhale, stick the tongue out, roll up your eyes and make a lion's breath. Two more. Find stillness. Fix your gaze at one point that's not moving. down for Shavasana, corpse pose. Traditionally, Shavasana is with the legs straight, feet laying to the sides, so there's no stiffness in the legs at any part. Lower back is long, so I just release the tailbone away from you, bring navel in and up, and then bring shoulder blades down and chin down so that the neck is long. Release the arms by your sides, palms facing upwards, opening up to the infinite possibilities. Fix the gaze at a point or close your eyes and soften everything that feels stiff with every exhale. 